Hello guys, today we're going to be working on this Samsung Tap Low washer. The model number is on the display. Welcome to DIY Repair Now. Read all the warnings. And during this video, you will see one or more of these icons to help you do this repair safe. And the complaint that we have with this washer is that it's not draining. As you can see, there's water in the tub. So we're going to go ahead and start doing some tests and find out what is going on, why it's not draining. So we're going to tilt the washer in the back. That way we can get to the drain pump and start checking for a broken wire or anything that can be causing this issue. Now, I think I hear a little bit of humming on the pump, so that means we get in voltage, but we're going to verify it right now with our tester, with a multimeter tester, and we're going to put it to test for voltage, we should be getting 120 volts um, on the terminals that are going to the drain pump. If you don't have any multimeter, um, just go ahead and follow the video because this video will help you to determine what it can be as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put this uh, snips, um, terminals or whatever. I don't know how they call those, but you can see they are putting those on the terminals. And now we're going to go ahead and put the washer in a setting where it's going to make it drain. So we're going to put it in drain and spin or rinse and spin. And you can hear the tester. The tester is right there. Sorry, we don't get to see the numbers, but uh, because my camera tilted, but you can hear the beeping. And that means we are getting voltage. So we are getting 120 volts going into the pump, but the pump is not coming on. Right now, I'm checking this hose that comes from the top to the uh, drain pump to find out if it's any cluggage, anything that we can feel, if any socks or any hair or anything, but I don't feel anything from this hose to the pump. This um, hose is coming from the top to the um, drain pump. Then there's another hose that goes from the pump towards the drain line and the house. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get to the back, remove the back panel. There is four screws that are holding this back panel. So remove those four screws. And then there's a little trick here. You're gonna have to lift up and then move it to uh, towards outside. Now I'm using these uh, clamps to prevent the water from the tub going into the drain pump. But you can go ahead and vacuum in the uh, water from the tub because these uh, clamps, what they do is they prevent the water from the top going towards the drain pump. And like I said, I need the water in the tub, but I know you're probably not gonna have these clamps. So go ahead and just use your vacuum and get the water out from the tub. Uh, go ahead and disconnect the washer to avoid electric shock when you start working on it. And right now I'm gonna use the vacuum just to be prepared in case water spills out when I start removing the hoses as well. Again, if you don't have these clamps, there's gonna be a lot of water coming out of here. So my suggestion would be go ahead and vacuum in the water from the inside of the washer. So just lift the, the lid and put your vacuum hose there and get all the water out as much as you can. And it still be prepared here when you remove this water clamps, I mean these hose clamps because it's still water gonna come out the way you're gonna see right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the vacuum. Sorry for the noise. I'm gonna try to lower it down in post production, but as you see, there's still water coming from the pump housing. Always be prepared for water to spill out. As you see, I was already prepared with some towels in the bottom, because you don't wanna make a mess. Once all the water comes out, you're gonna start taking um, those, the uh, other hose. This is the hose that goes from the uh, pump housing towards the drain line, and it also has a clamp. Now you can see there's a black uh, check valve. That's how they call it. The ring that you're gonna see me taking out right now, they call it a check valve. This prevents from water to come back from the uh, drain hose back in the pump and also the, um, the tub. 
Um, they don't used to use those check valves, and in my opinion, they always give problems, so I always eliminate that because if you install the water hose properly, you don't really need that check valve right there, and I know there's a different opinions, but I find out that this is one of the most common issues in Samsung washer when that flapper it starts going back, it gets stuck on the open position or the closed position, and that's when people start getting trouble with the washer. So we're gonna go ahead and try to see if that was our problem because it was stuck, but I don't know if that was creating an, an issue. So we're gonna go ahead and put everything back together and find out if that's the reason why it wasn't draining. Again, you know, I'm gonna try to leave every footage on this, uh, most of the footage on this video, that way you make uh that way it's easier for you to do this repair in your own now we're gonna go ahead and put the other drain hose and the pump housing put the clamps back on remove the uh clamp from the uh um, black hose and go ahead and plug in the washer to be able to find out if that take care of the problem now i try Again, and at this point, it was still not draining. It was still not draining whatsoever. So that wasn't the problem. But again, if you're doing this repair, try to replace the, um, that check valve, if you replace the pump, that check valve should come with the pump or you can just order it separately. Now we're gonna go ahead and keep troubleshooting and find out what else can be. So at this point, I wanna make sure if water is coming from the tub. So if I get this loose, you see water is coming out so we don't have any cluggage in the tub because we do have water there. So we're gonna go ahead and put our um, hose clamps again and we're gonna go ahead and start doing some tests there's some parts gonna be linked in the description of this video and I'm gonna explain to you why you see that box that I just moved to the side later on we're gonna go ahead and put this clamp back in this drain hose which again is the one that's coming from the top to the pump housing once I clamp it there there's no water going into the pump anymore and you see again be prepared with towels at the bottom or with the vacuum in case water spills out now we're gonna go ahead and remove the pump out of the housing and it's gonna be two Phillips screws they are holding this Again, always disconnect the washer to avoid electric shock. Move that to the side. And remove the two filler screws that are holding this pump in place. Sorry, there's some footage. They are not in the frame because my camera tilt up and I'm doing this repair by myself. So once you remove the two screws that are holding the pump housing and also the pump motor in place, which at this point is one piece, we're gonna go ahead and try to get her out. You can disconnect the uh, wire um, terminals to get the complete pump outside, but in this case, I didn't find it necessarily. However, you're gonna have to push the tub uh, to be able to get the pump in this area. Now, while I was checking inside, again, there's some things that is not in the um, camera frame, but I realized that something was stuck inside the pump. Now, at this point, I see that the pump must, must be in good condition, but there was a penny is stuck inside the pump. And as you see right there, there's the penny that was stuck in the, in the pump plate. Now I see where the pump plate was 
kind of eat up by the penny because it was trying to pump and the penny was basically broken into the uh, blades of the pump. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to replace the whole pump, but I'm not gonna leave the actual footage because I only end up replacing this motor, not the whole housing. As you can see, here I show the box where the new motor was, but it only replaced this part of the pump. And I really don't want you just order the uh, the pump because it's not worth it so i want you to go ahead and order the whole pump so there's going to be a link in the description of this video the whole pump with the part of the housing where you see the uh, red arrow so with that being said i'm going to go ahead and show you how to put everything back together once you get the pump in place Go ahead and secure it with the two filler screws. There's a fillet and I believe a 5 8 You can use either or, but in this case, I'm using my uh, Phillips screws, uh, Phillips screwdriver, sorry. And that did the trick for me. Once you secure it in place, we gonna go ahead and make sure those screws are uh, secured. There's another one behind there. And we're gonna go ahead and install our water hoses again now let me told you that i end up replacing the motor because i see some of the blades on the pump they were bad but the pump was still working i just replaced it because i don't want to have any go backs and i want the customer to be uh safe and give them warranty for their repair and i also let the customer choose if he wants me to just you know clear the penny out or replace the pump and I show him where the pump was damaged. But again, I want you to, if you're doing this repair, might as well do it right and replace the whole pump with the housing. At this point, I only have the motor and that works for me. Remember, I do this every day. But if I recommend you to do something, I want you to do it right. And that way you don't have any issues in a very long time. Now at this point, I'm testing again, and this is where everything starts working the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you right now. I had the vacuum on for some reason at this point, but I wanna show you here. See the water spilled out, you can see it's draining right there. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit more in a little bit, but at this point, everything is looking good. So, my suggestion would be for you guys again just remove whatever is stuck in there it could be here check the drain hoses make sure they are clear they're not clogged and right now we are installing the back panel back in place and we're going to go ahead and tilt the washer make sure it's not leaking or anything again make sure the wire is in the right place Make sure we close the little flapper that covers the terminals for the pump. And at this point, we're pretty much done. As you see, just close that cover for the terminals and nothing is leaking. We're gonna go ahead and test it again. We're gonna go ahead and, and put it on rinse and spin. Or you can just use, uh, if you have the setting on spin only, you can do that too, but as you see, we still got water there. I leave that just for you guys, for you guys can see. And you can hear it's draining. If this video helped you in any way, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.